Hey, what's up guys? It's Online Money 24-7 and today we're going to be talking about three ETFs to buy for 28. So first off, I wanted to explain what an ETF is for those of you who are watching this video and don't already know. An ETF is an exchange traded fund. So it's like a stock because it's tradable during the day. Same thing as McDonald's or Walmart or something like that. It's a stock that's tradable during the day, but it is diversified like a mutual fund. So effectively, it's very diversified and it's a fund compiling of a bunch of different stocks. So I'll get into that more into the next slides, but it's an ETF and these are three that I'm going to be going through that I recommend. And so, you know, it's, it's diversified, but it's also tradable like a stock. So let's go ahead and get into these ETFs. So the first one is the Vanguard S and P ETF. So it's the S and P 500 is the index. So that is the fund that it is. Like I said, I'll explain that. Uh, there's a lot of different indexes that these funds are in, but each one is different within their own regard. So, you know, I recommend to do your own research on the index specifically, but this one is the S&P 500. So it's the top companies in America and it's labeled VOO. So this is a Vanguard S&P ETF, and this is currently the performance over the past year. So it has done pretty solid. Now, a lot of these ETFs are going to have very similar market trends because they are basically just following the market. You know, if the market does well, you're going to do well. That's essentially what these kind of ETFs are like. These big mutual funds are very diversified. So you're going to do as well as the market is going to be doing. So if the market's overall doing kind of bad, you're going to be kind of doing kind of bad based on what the index is into. So this is the top company. So it's going to just ride the wave of the stock market. If stock market's doing great, you're going to also be doing great, but it's a very safe fund. That's why a lot of people are into ETFs because ETFs are more safe because they're a lot more diversified. You're not going to be getting crazy gains on them, but they are still nice because of the safety net and the diversification that you have within them. So for people that don't like to pick stocks, I know I do a lot of different stock pick videos on this channel, uh, but for those of you who are more just more conservative with your investing, just want to throw it into a fund and not really think about it. ETFs are great for that. So this is the first one in today's video and going into the second one, which is a little bit different. Each of these are all different, but they do follow a lot of the same trend is the PowerShares S&P high dividend yield SPHD. So I have all the symbols up here in the top right corner, but this one is SPHD, the uh, S&P high dividend yield. So this one's a little bit different in that it provides a higher dividend yield for holding the shares. So if you wanted to have some extra cash flow with your uh, fund, this is definitely one that would be better for you who want that because a lot of the other ones, they have a lot lower of a dividend, maybe about half as much of a dividend. I think that this one was about 3.5, whereas the other ones are generally around 1.9 or 2. So this one's, you know, that 3.5 range is pushing you up quite a bit higher, especially if you have a lot of money in these funds. That's a, a lot bigger difference within how much dividend payment you're going to be getting every quarter. I think this is a quarterly dividend, although it might be a monthly dividend too. I'm not sure exactly 100%. Obviously, do the research into each of these if you're going to be investing in them. But these are just popular ones that I found to be very good through my research. So PowerShares S&P High Dividend Yield SPHD, definitely a solid one. If you want that higher cash flow, you could get involved with this one. Now, the overall yearly performance is not necessarily as good as the last one I had mentioned, the Vanguard one, but it does have the higher dividend yield. So it's not as stable as the other one. It's a little bit more, I guess you could say volatile, but in a way it's not really volatile because it's just following the S&P 500 as well. So this same, it's the same index. It's not really different th difference there. But moving into the third ETF for today is the Charles Schwab US large cap ETF SCHX. So this one is provided by Charles Schwab and it is a large cap ETF. Now this one, very similar to S&P 500 because it is following top big companies, large cap companies that are moving pretty steadily. So this one I would say is maybe even more secure than the Vanguard one, but really it all just comes down to personal preference. If you like Charles Schwab more, you might want to go with that one. If you like Vanguard more, you might want to go with that ETF. It's really all up to you and what your uh, trading platform offers. I mean, these are, these are tradable like stocks. So you could buy these on Robinhood. That's why I uh, go have looked into these ETFs because I can actually buy them with the trading platform I use, which is Robinhood. So this is great for a lot of you guys who are younger beginners, people that don't, you know, they don't want to deal with the dang trading fees because 
why deal with trading fees if you can have free? So that, that's why these ETFs are great for a lot of people because you can't get that di diversification through investing in because you can't invest into traditional mutual funds through Robinhood. So that's why a lot of people are into ETFs because they can get involved with ETFs like these on Robinhood because it trades like a stock, which is great for a lot of people. So that is the third one for today's video. There's a lot of different other ETFs, but these are three that I see found that were very good, well performing. So these are ones that I recommend. There's a lot of different ones you could do. Obviously, if you want to invest in any of these, do your own research on each of them. You know, do you, you want to figure out that you're you want to go into that investment instead of just picking it because it's on the video. So definitely do your own research. But guys, if you have not actually signed up for Robinhood, if you're still looking for a trading platform to get started on the stock market, like I said, I do recommend Robinhood because it's a free stock trading app and there's no commissions on trades. That's why I use it. And if you want to support the channel, I do have a sign up link below, which will get you a free stock as well. Guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell as well so you get notified for future videos, uploads, and all that good stuff. Leave a like, leave a comment if you have any questions, comments, concerns. But anyway, guys, that's all for today's video. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.